What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be making some primitive cordage out of natural materials. So um, we're going to go into the woods, we're going to find some trees, some plants, anything that has some inner fibrous uh, materials that we can twist into a cordage like this. So you can make thin ones, you can make thicker cordage depending on whatever your project uh, you need it for. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. We're going to make some cordage today. Hope you enjoy. So when you find trees like this, you can see that it's dead here. Barks coming off in multiple spots. Um, if you're lucky, it would be a tree that um, actually is great for natural cordage. So, checking along over here, you can pull off the bark like this. Try to get in a nice long strip, that way it would be easier to, to create cordage later. Trying to get all of it. Yeah. And that'd be one nice long, really good bit of bark. The inner bark here would be great for cordage. I'll show you how to process it down. Um, but if you look, the tree, you try to find signs of what it could be. Well, for this one, right there, you can see that it's a basswood. You can see uh, parts of the remnants of the leaf and those little balls. So basswood is a great uh, source for creating cordage because of these inner fibers that peel off like this. Now what we have here is some outer bark and then the inner bark. What we're going to need to do to make the cordage is to separate the outer bark from the inner bark. What you can do is you can actually go across and just breaking it like this, bending it backward. That will weaken the outer bark and then we can rip it off really easily. You can see some of the fibers are starting to appear now. We're just gonna wiggle the bark and then just peel, try to peel it off as best we can. Yeah, you can see a big piece just came off right here. Sometimes you get lucky like that and you don't have to wear it as hard. Next part is we're gonna separate the, these inner bark fibers Splitting up right from the top, try to peel it down all the way down. So now that we've separated the inner fibers, we have tons of them here. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to grab a few of them, uh, you know, just just a few. And the more you add, the thicker your uh, cordage is going to end up. So I don't want too thick of cordage today. I want a pretty thin one. We want to go to the middle, grab it at the middle. And you're gonna twist it until it, it loops in on itself like that. So once it loops in, you're gonna grab it with one hand, you're gonna take the bottom one on the other hand, you're gonna twist it away from you. And then you're gonna grab the top piece and pull it towards you. And so I'm gonna do this a few times and you're gonna see that cordage is actually going to come together quite nicely. So twisting the bottom one away and then bringing the top one towards you. You start to see, you start to see the cordage come into place. Um, we're just going to continue doing this. Twisting a couple times. Just keep going. So now you can see we're getting quite a bit. It's looking really nice. Um, make sure to pull it tight. So when you turn it and then grab the top part, make sure it's tight so that uh, each of the each of the the twists are really close together. That's going to make it really strong. So here's the here's the the problem though. Once we get to the end, it's going to be hard to like twist because it's just not enough. So what we're going to do here is we're going to splice. We're going to take uh, maybe one or two fibers from our pile 
Maybe just like this. Uh, maybe I'll take a bit less than that. Take something from our pile, and we're gonna add it into the middle. Just like that. Make sure that one side's gonna be shorter and one side's gonna be longer. So it's not actually in the middle. Maybe it's like three, maybe like two thirds of it, you see? So that this bottom one's longer. So now I wanna twist this one in. I'm just gonna do the same thing like we did before. And it's gonna splice in and it's gonna be hard to notice. So yeah, right here is where we spliced. You can see it might get a bit thicker, but it's pretty seamless, to be honest. So, got a pretty long, <laughs> got a pretty long, it looks really good. Um, I have so many fibers left, but um, I'm not gonna sit here all day um, to end it and not let it fall apart when you're, um, you know, putting your bag. Um, once you get to the end, when you want to uh, stop, you just take the two ends and just do a little knot. So, okay, let's do a little knot, and then it won't come undone. You can take apart the knot later uh, when you want to continue again. So that's how you make some primitive cordage. Sounds really nice. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned how to take this, these fibers, and turn it into some nice cordage. Um, take, some, take some practice, but it really is um, really simple. And um, yeah, you can make this in just a few minutes and uh, you're ready to go. You have some gear and you can go out and use it for multiple uh, different uh, different projects. Maybe it's uh, lashing up your shelter, making knots, uh, tying, uh, you know, using for your bow drill. So, so many uh, different uses. Hope you enjoyed and uh, learned a lot.